The last three years since I've been reviewing electric scooters, the Segway Max has been my favorite scooter less than $1,000, but that has changed with the Okai Pro. It has outperformed in each one of my tests, and it's cheaper, has a better LCD screen, and some really cool ambient lighting. So let me show you how it compares to the Max, starting off with the speed test. Okay, so both scooters have three speed modes. The Max has a speed rating of 18.5, the Pro 20 miles per hour. Walk assist mode, three miles an hour. Medium is nine, and high is 19. Eco mode is four miles an hour. Medium is 11, and sport mode is 18. As far as the speed, Okai wins by just one mile per hour faster than the Max. Now it's time to see which is faster off the line. Acceleration is pretty comparable. Uh, the Okai is just a little bit faster off the line and gets to 15 miles per hour, about a half a second faster than the Max. Max has a rating up to a 20% grade. The Pro has it up to 25%. Got a full charge on the scooter. This is gonna be around a 50% grade. Very long hill, I'm not gonna go up all the way. Starting to climb now, down to 14. Okay, this is where it starts to get pretty steep. Nine, eight, dropping pretty good now. Down to four. And there we go. Most of that was tackled at five miles per hour. I went down to four for just a few seconds. Got a full charge on the scooter. I'm in sport mode, starting to climb here, down to 12, 11, dropping pretty quick. All right, this is where it gets pretty tricky, down to seven. Five miles per hour is the speed that I tackled most of the hill with the Okai. Holding a four, it's down to three. Oh, I don't know if it's gonna do it. It's not gonna do it. <laughs> down to two, back up to three. Oh, it's pretty much done. So I was 50 feet shy of where the Okai got me to. So you got better climbing power with the Okai. The Max has a front drum and a rear mechanical where the Pro has a front electric and a rear disc. Let's find out which one stops the fastest. As far as the range, the Max has a range rating up to 40 miles, the Pro up to 50. Now we did the range test on the same trail. The video that you're gonna see for the Max is filmed in California. I reviewed this scooter about six months ago, so I'm just gonna use that video. Okai takes the cake again, 18.39 miles, where the Max had 16.25. As far as the looks, design, specs, all of that, very similar layout. The biggest difference has gotta be the handlebar setup. But everything from like this part down to the scooter, everything else looks pretty much identical. Both have two full coverage fenders, very similar folding mechanism. With the Max, just pull that lever, folds down and it connects to the spot on the handlebars. And once connected, just lift that up. Same thing with the Pro, just a one click folding sort of a deal. Once that goes down, you'll hear it lock into place. There's no connecting point in the back. And then you just lift that up with the stem. And then to put it back up, again, just lift up the flap. Here you have to unconnect from the rear part of the scooter. As far as just an easier way to fold and unfold, I like the Pro better. Now the Max's weight is 42 pounds. The Pro is 43 pounds, but they can both carry the same weight at 220 pounds. As far as geometry and positioning, you can see the stem on the Max is angled back towards the rear of the scooter a little bit more than the Pro, but the height of the Max is about two inches higher than the Pro. I can reach past the grips about seven, eight inches. So if you're a taller rider, you're gonna like something like this. And it does position you in the center of the scooter. So you have a nice balance. Okay, for stability and balance, riding with one hand, super easy. I mean, this is just one of the best balanced scooters in this price range hitting these bumps cracks and it handles that very well with just one hand it's hard to beat the balance with the segway max i like the positioning on the pro better than the max i like the handlebar height i like the angle it just feels more comfortable more natural feeling this also positions you in the center of the scooter so you have nice balance there top of the scooter out easily take my hand off Handlebars are kind of moving around a little bit, but definitely one of the more stable scooters in this price range. So overall, they're both very stable, have a similar ride. Hard to tell the difference between the two. As far as the handlebar length, a little bit narrow with the Okai. The Max is about two inches wider, so I do like the handlebar length on the Max more than the Pro. So with the Okai, the deck is about six, seven inches wide, and then about a little less than two feet long. 
I've got size 10 and a half shoes. It does go back up on the wheel five, six inches. The Max is a little bit skinnier, about an inch less than the Pro, and pretty much the same distance lengthwise. Well, the motor positioning is different. In the Okai, there's a 350 watt motor in the front wheel. With the Segway Max, it's the same size motor, but it's in the rear. The Okai has a bigger battery, 48 volts. The Segway is 42 volts. It takes six hours to recharge on both scooters. They both have 10 inch air filled tires. The Segway has self healing tires, where the Pro does not. These are the types of scooters that you're not gonna have any shaking in the eyeballs when you hit chip sill or if you're going on sidewalks. All right, and then uh, just cruise along the sidewalk. I can feel the lines, but eyes are stationary, no rattling, no vibrating. As far as the sidewalk lines, I can barely feel them. No vibrating in the eyes, super comfortable. Let's see how coming off a six inch curb feels. <laughs> Actually handled that really well. No suspension on this one either, so I'm gonna hit the same curb as before. Oh. Man, solid. Both these scooters can handle some drops, be just fine. I will say it did feel a little bit more comfortable on the Segway than with the Okai. LCD screen is quite a bit different with the max power button is here. Single press to hit the lights on. Headlight here in the front, rear tail lights, and that does flash when you hit the lever. With the Okai, the power button's on the left side. And just like the max, just single press it to hit the lights on. Pretty bright headlight right by the handlebars. And then when you hit the lever, that tail light does flash. The biggest difference with the Okai compared to the Segway is that you can change the LCD screen look in the app, which is pretty cool. The Okai has an IPX55 waterproof rating. The Segway has an IPX5 rating. The Pro is a little bit cheaper at $849. The Segway is $879. Both have a one-year warranty and also offer free shipping. That is the Okai Pro versus the Segway Max. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.